Hey guys, how's it going? Capran here. Today I want to give you guys my review on what people think is probably the worst card of the entire expansion. And the reason I selected this card is because I think I can send the inspirational message that um, most of the cards that they've come up with have actually been very interesting in their own little way. There have been like no pack fillers this time around. Even cards like these that just look absolutely abysmal, when you really take a closer look at them, maybe they're actually not too bad. Now, I certainly am not suggesting that a card with a fairly weak random effect that costs 8 mana is particularly strong for constructed play, but in general, it's okay even there. In Arena, however, it is certainly a card that is much better than most people think and uh, I think the games to come will demonstrate it and I can kind of give you guys a little bit of insight on why this is the case before we get to those. So the idea that um, the spell is cast at a random target is really what kills the card but really you have to consider the fact that a lot of spells have very restrictive targets. A lot of removal can only target an enemy minion like swipe, assassinate, sap. A lot of the powerful removal can't actually target your own stuff. And if you look at the spells for almost any given class, there are those that just don't have a target, and the card when, you know, casting a spell like that is actually okay. I think the one constructed deck that might eventually see this card in it is Mage. So in Mage, you have to consider the fact that Secrets don't have a target, and the only thing holding secrets back is they're all just generally kind of shit. But, you know, that's still okay. I think mage secrets are generally good plays at 2 mana, so you're paying like 6 mana for a 5-6, and then, you know, you draw a card, and then it's a secret, then you play it for like a couple minutes. It's like, okay, right? It's okay. But then sometimes you get some actual card draw. Sometimes you get like a flame strike board clear. Sometimes you get just the right card in that given situation. You know, it's actually a decent number of options. You know, a lot of the cards, particularly for mage, uh, don't actually have targets. And that makes the card pretty good. And it's not that. I think in a mage, it's obviously a pretty good card, even in arena. But I think in a lot of the other classes, it looks like a bad card, but actually isn't. In the games that you're about to see, it, they were part of a druid arena run where I had two of them. I think I even had the option to pick the third, but I wasn't quite that crazy. And even though Druid has a lot of bad spells, I took a look at the Druid spells, and a lot of them are kind of like neutral. They're not particularly good, not particularly bad. There's certainly a few Druid spells that are really bad, and there's a few Druid spells that are really good to get off the tutorial primal list. But the bad spells outnumber the good spells. So you would think it's like a bad card, but it's not really like that. You don't get a random spell. You get to choose between three. And even though there's more bad spells than good spells, actually the card performed pretty well, so much so that the Druid run ended up doing very well partly as a result of this card, and I never had a really bad option I was forced to pick out of all the times I played two of them right? So it really proved to me that the card is actually pretty good, and more so than the message of saying the card is pretty good, I want to give you guys the message that uh, even the bad cards in this expansion, and probably in those to come, are certainly worth trying because you will more often be surprised about how powerful the cards are rather than disappointed. And this card offers just the perfect example to demonstrate this. So check out the games, play the card for yourselves, and uh, have a little bit of fun in Arena the next time you're offered a few cards like these. Hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. This is a pretty weak hand, but we'll see. I see There's a number of problem cards here. There's True Silver, there's Kings, there's that other buff that's plus two, plus two. There's Dark Iron, 
And there's the um, the three drop weapon. I have an axe to grab. There's that apparently. I'm out of here. The land serves me. Fuck you'd play another minion there. Feel my wrath. Seems like a big no no. Is the turtle a beast the Tortolan primalist? It probably is, right? Oasis Snapchat's a beast. I love Oh, but that's not a beast. Wait, what the fuck? Hmm? Oh, it talks. It's no longer a beast. Talking turtles matter. Hashtag Twitter. Okay. Join the pack. I'm just not too scared by this because it's got like one attack and then the game's probably over. Like if he buffs it with a divine shield, I don't care. Right? So. This might be interesting here. Because I'm going face, if he pulls a sacred trial, I'll have to trade, which really sucks. Hmm. Sacred Trial, it's a wild card. Wait, what? Oh! I knew that. Your magic shall not see. It's not good enough. What you want? Are you serious? Total. You guys doubted him. What's that? What's that? Two for two? Oh! Oh! Okay. I guess it's pretty good then, huh? Yeah. It's an alright three drop, and I have few three drops, but like, it's just not strong enough. Like, most two drops I have are better than it. Is this a beast? God damn these new turtles, dude. These people turtles are shit. Okay. Tyrion, Tyrion, Tyrion. Wow. That is possibly good. YOLO? YOLO Alright, I 
guess. Three mana mini bot. Well, when you consider Silver Moon Guardian and the fact that this is a beast, that's pretty good, right? Yeah, okay, I know it sucks, sorry. Yeah, the Tolan Primalists are gonna be uh, the uh, the game winning aspect or the game losing aspect or just nothing. And get really sad and stuff. I don't know. Whoa, that's really bad. Basically, I played a really, really expensive Shattered Sun Cleric. I was thinking about Mark the Wild, but man, if that hits his minion, I'm really screwed. Savage Roar doesn't do anything. That's pretty good though. Living mana. The, my board would be too full. I wouldn't get back my mana crystals. It spawned five of them. And then I would just not have any mana. Which is really bad. Really, really, really bad. You don't think it takes your unused crystals first? Oh, interesting point. Yeah, I don't know how. It works. Time waits for no one. Lose one there anyway. It's just, um, you know, it's not as, not as good as it seems, but well, let's just do it. Can I get away? Yeah, I can. I'm oh. waiting for no one. Wicked. Wicked. I guess that's a misplay then. Could have had a buffed up warden.